This video is about the principle of the conservation of momentum. This principle tells us that if we have a collision, the momentum before the collision must be equal to the momentum after the collision. And it's written as M1U1 plus M2U2 equals M1V1 plus M2V2. So we're going to have two different objects two particles. So here we've got particle A and particle B. So particle A has got a mass of 0 0.5 kilograms and particle B 0 0.3 kilograms. They're moving in the same direction along a smooth horizontal surface when they collide directly immediately before the collision, the speed of A, so A is moving at 5 meters per second, and B is in the same direction at 3 meters per second. After the collision, A continues to move in the same direction, so this is before, this is after, a continues to move in the same direction with a speed of 2 meters per second. So this is a smooth horizontal surface. And there's the speeds before, the velocity before, here's the velocity after. So we need to know the speed of B after the collision. So what is this speed after the collision? So we're going to use our formula and we're going to say M1U1, so we're going to call A1, so M1U1 is 0 0.5 times 5, plus M2U2, 0 0.3 times 3, equals M1V1, 0 0.5 times 2, plus M2V2, 0 0.3 times V. So what is V now? So let's just simplify this. So 0 0.5 times 5, we'll change to 2.5. 0 0.3 times 3, we'll change to 0 0.9. 0 0.5 times 2, we'll change to 1. And plus 0 0.3 V. So here we've got 3.4 equals 1 plus 0 0.3 V. Subtract 1 from both sides, so 2.4 equals 0 0.3 V and divide both sides by 0 0.3 so V must equal 8 so 8 meters per second find the magnitude of the impulse exerted on A by B so the impulse exerted so question 2 the impulse exerted on A by B. So we're looking at A and we want to know the impulse. So impulse is MV minus MU. So that's 0 0.5 times 2 minus 0 0.5 times 5. So that's 1 minus 2.5 which is minus 1.5 but it's the magnitude of the impulse we care about the magnitude we don't care about direction so we can say it's 1.5 newton seconds okay here's another question if you want to pause the video and try and give this one a go you can or you can keep watching and i'll go through it so we've got the same kind of setup so there's two particles colliding so we'll draw two particles A and B A has a mass of 0 0.5 kilograms B has a mass of 0 0.4 kilograms so they're moving in opposite directions this time so before the collision A has a speed so this is before at the top A has a speed of 4 
meters per second and B is in the opposite direction at 3 meters per second. After the collision, the direction of A is reversed and its speed is now 2 meters per second. Find the speed of, v, of B after the collision. So we'll just call it V. We'll assume it's moving to the right to start with. If it's not, we'll get a negative answer and it'll be moving to the left. So we're going to use our formula. So we've got M1U1, so 0 0.5 times 4, plus M2U2, which is 0 0.4, times, we're going to call this negative 3, because it's moving to the left. So if we say this way is positive, the right is positive, that means the left is negative. So 0 0.4 times negative 3, equals m1v1 0 0.5 times negative 2 plus m2v2 which is 0 0.4v so we'll simplify this so we've got 2 minus 1.2 equals negative 1 plus 0 0.4v so we've got 0 0.8 equals negative 1 plus 0 0.4 V plus 1 to both sides so we've got 1.8 equals 0 0.4 V and divide both sides by 0 0.4 which gives us an answer of 4.5 so it was moving to the right so it's moving to the right with a speed of 4.5 meters per second Find the magnitude of the impulse exerted on A by B. So we're looking at the impulse on A. We could actually do it either way around. They'll get the same answer, but want to be a negative. But we're looking at on A, so we'll do A. So impulse is MV minus MU, the change in momentum. So we've got 0 0.5 times negative 2 minus 0 0.5 times 4, which is negative 1 minus 2, so negative 3. We only care about the magnitude, so we're going to call it 3 newton seconds. Okay, here's another question. Pause the video, give it a go and then press play when you're ready to go through the answer. Okay, so two particles, A and B again. So we will draw them on. A and B. On a smooth horizontal surface. So A has got a mass of 0 0.5 kilograms. And B is just m kilograms, so we don't know the mass. They're moving in opposite directions along a smooth horizontal surface when they collide directly. Immediately before the collision, the speed of A is 6 meters per second. And the speed of B in the opposite direction is 3 meters per second. After the collision, the direction of both particles is reversed and the speed of each particle is now 2. So A is reversed and B is also reversed. And we're going to say again, to the right is positive, to the left is negative. So the first question says find the magnitude of the impulse exerted on A by B. So we'll look at the impulse Impulse is mv minus mu, so that's 0 0.5 times negative 2 minus 0 0.5 times 6, which is negative 1 minus 3, which is negative 4. We only care about the magnitude, 
So we'll call it 4 Newton seconds. Question 2, find the value of m. So we'll do the conservation of momentum formula. So m1 u1, so 0 0.5 times 6 plus m2 u2, which is m times negative 3, equals m1 v1, which is 0 0.5 times negative 2, plus m2 v2, which is m times 2. So we've got 3 minus 3m equals negative 1 plus 2m, we plus 3m to both sides, we get 3 equals negative 1 plus 5m, add 1 to both sides, so 4 equals 5m, divide both sides by 5, so m equals 4 fifths, or 0 0.8 kilograms.